We turn now to a story about the healing power of art. Ana de Jesus and her son, Noel Faria, came to the United States from Puerto Rico five years ago. Since then, by allowing Noel to be creative, Ana has watched her son just grow before her eyes. KSHB 41 News reporter Caroline Hogan turned the mic over to Ana and Noel and learned just how much having a space to create means to them. Expressive is a place where you can create, as you can see, and one young man does just that every day. It not only allows him to express his emotions, but it's helped him grow over the past four years that he's been coming here. Noel Faria likes to paint outside the lines. I mean, like red in different colors. And at Expressive, he's allowed to do that. Water. Mm -hmm. and Pikachu in yellow painting. Noel was diagnosed with autism along with other disabilities. Doctors told me that he was not going to be able to talk or he was not going to be able to do much. But Noel's mother, Ana de Jesus, will not give up on her son. I believe in alternative therapies. Like art. And music. He can channel his emotions in a healthy way while being social. So we do like presentations of his painting, of his um, photographies, and we invite the community to come here. As Noel gets older, Anna has seen her son grow tremendously. At the beginning, he just didn't care. He just put the canvas or whatever with any color. But now he knows, he knows what to do. He knows what colors to mix. Now he wants to pursue higher studies in photography. I want him to be happy and be independent. Those two things are important for me because I'm not going to be forever around. She wants Noel to know there are no restrictions to what he can do, just like with his art. The fact that you find things that help them is definitely a good feeling because because it gives you hope that you are going to be able to keep helping him. In North Kansas City, Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.